Okay, so I do actually have to go into work today. And I wasn't supposed to work today, so I'm really hoping this isn't turning into one of those I wasn't supposed to even be here today moments. And this is where a lot of people would drop in that scene from Clerks where he's like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. But I don't really feel confident in dropping other people's work into my work unless it's somebody I know or somebody I've asked or somebody I have approval from. So where do you guys stand on adding movie clips to your YouTube videos? I don't like to do it because that's other people's work and I did not pay them for it. So let me know. What's going on everybody, Ryan Nelson here. And I know yesterday I said we're gonna start this thing today and we, we are, we're starting this thing today. But we're not starting it with marketing. I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with something I've been doing for a little while now and it's stock video. And stock video is a little bit new to me. I've been doing stock photography for Oh, 12 or 13 years. I've never really done all that well with it. Uh, I think in the 12 years I've done it, I've made about $700, which isn't, it's not a lot at all. I think we're gonna do a lot better with stock video. So the nice thing with stock video is you can do it anywhere. You can do stock photography anywhere too, but I always seem to say that video can tell a bit more of a story than just a photo. Video, we're shooting video. Even on my way into work this morning, I drive by these fields every morning. They're always being plowed or workers out there picking crops. So I stopped and I actually just shot a few clips of the workers out there picking. And then I'm gonna get home and work on those clips, do a little bit of color correction to them, upload them to Blackbox. So I'll drop a link down below to Blackbox if you've never heard of it, if you've never used it. If you've been on YouTube for like the last few months, you've probably heard of Blackbox, Ooh, this spot can make for some pretty B-roll. Nope, gotta focus, gotta focus on what I'm talking about. And just, all right, just a quick B-roll. Okay, back to what I was saying. You've probably heard of Black Box because everybody's been talking about it on YouTube for the last few months. And it's a really neat platform. Even the owner, Pat, is really engaged. If you ever, if you join the Facebook group, he's really engaged in answering your questions. He just wants to help grow this community of creators and help you and me and himself have a financial freedom through creativity, which is kind of what we all want. And the great thing about doing stock video is you don't have a client or somebody giving you direction, telling you what to do, what they want. You can do it on your terms. You can put your creativity and your voice into every bit of it. And then also try to make some money off of that. That being said, part of what I want to do with my production company is make sure that every shoot I do, I can incorporate a little bit of stock video in with that paid gig as well. So when you get hired to shoot a job, think more, more broad than just that job that you're shooting. Think how can I use this to monetize it even more, make a little bit more money off of this network and maybe use this as a promotional video somewhere else. So try to maximize your potential with that one job or when you rent a camera. Think about the things you can do with that camera to maybe make a YouTube video comparing this and then add links down below. Use that camera for a special situation that that camera is really good at. I did do that a few weeks ago where I rented a camera just to spend the week in studio shooting slow motion stuff in studio. And that was a really fun week. And I'm still, still going through and keywording and processing all these video clips that I shot several weeks ago. Anyway, the hope being with that is that these clips will continue to bring me income, pay off the price of the rental of the camera, pay off a little bit of my time that I put into it, and then continue to trickle in a little bit more income throughout the next few years. That was the goal. We'll see what happens in that. So if you guys are interested in getting into stock video, I've dropped a link down below once again to Black Box. Currently they submit to four different stock sites. Saves you a ton of time. You don't have to worry about it. You just put, upload your video, your keyword, you tag it, and submit it and you're done. They take care of the rest. You can collaborate with others. It's really cool. So once again, link down below, check them out. Until tomorrow, no, Monday. Until Monday, I will see you then with what I'm up to then. So have a great day. See you then.
By the way, I'm Ryan Nelson. I'm starting a video production company. If you haven't heard, this is day one of what I'm up to and how I'm going to diversify my income and start something awesome. All right, join me along for the ride. Real quick, real quick B-roll.